it's a very interesting question on linear equations just x plus mod y is 8 mod x plus y is 6 how many pairs of x comma y satisfy these two equations right. it's like a very simple question instead of just having x and y we have x plus mod y and mod x plus y it's a tricky question not that easy the mod completely changes the dynamic of the question let's look at what this modulus means modulus of a number can never be negative so the number can be negative but simply put modulus of x cannot be less than 0 modulus of 3 is 3 modulus of minus 3 is also 3 modulus of a number cannot be negative whatever be the magnitude that gets returned as a modulus of a number defined differently modulus of a is a when a is positive modulus of a is minus of a when a is negative so modulus of minus 3 is minus of minus 3 which becomes plus 3 when a is 0 mod a a minus a they are all 0 so this is how we would define a function called as modulus so if we take the first line x plus mod y equal to 8 but we take this equation i can say i can break this into two lines one when y is positive one when y is negative let's say y is positive then this practically becomes x plus y equals 8 so when y is positive this equation becomes x plus y equals 8 or y equals 8 minus x when y is negative this becomes x minus y equals 8 or y equals x minus 8 i'm defining this straight line or this equation need, need not be a straight line it is not a straight line it's a combination of straight lines this equation i'm break it, breaking it into two equations one when y is positive and one when y is negative the same thing I can do for the second equation as well. But before that, keep one eye on this. x plus mod y is 8. So modulus of y has to be greater than or equal to 0. That means this function, this diagram, this equation is clearly defined only when x is less than or equal to 8. If x is say 9, 9 plus mod y equal to 8 is just not feasible. Mod y is positive. So something plus a positive number is 8. Th that means that something cannot be 8 or more it can be 8 it cannot be more than 8 a number more than 8 plus a positive number cannot be equal to 8 mod y cannot be negative therefore x is less than or equal to 8 so this entire equation is defined only when x is less than or equal to 8 so if i had to break this down x plus mod y equals weight is y equals 8 minus x when x is when y is positive it is y equals x minus 8 when y is negative this whole thing is defined only when x is less than or equal to 8. Let's do the same thing for the second equation. Second equation is mod x plus y equals 6. This becomes y equals 6 minus x when x is positive. It is 6 plus x when x is negative. I'm doing the same thing. When x is positive, I substitute mod x as x. When x is negative, I substitute mod x as minus x. And again, mod x is always positive. So the entire equation is defined only when y is less than or equal to 6 y cannot be greater than 6 the moment y becomes greater than 6 mod x will have to be negative which is impossible so mod x plus y equal to 6 gets broken as two equations 6 minus x when x is positive 6 plus x when x is negative under the condition that y cannot be greater than 6 now i have to get the solution of this essentially the first equation got broken as two equations second one got broken as two equations if I find points of intersection or if I solve this pair versus this pair, I am through. If I can find point of intersection of 1 and 3, 1 and 4, 1 and 3, 1 and 4, and then I do 2 and 3, 2 and 4, these points of intersection will give me the solution. All I need to do is solve for these pairs, validate whether the conditions are working and I am through. Now, when we solve this, you realize that equation 1 and equation 3 this is of the form y is 8 minus x this is 6 minus x they have the same slope uh, they have different intercepts slope is same or they cannot intersect S equation 2 and equation 3 this is y is x minus 8 this is y is x plus 6 these two have the same slope 1 and 3 have the same slope 2 and 4 have the same slope so straight away we realize that equations 1 and 3 represent parallel lines, 2 and 4 represent parallel lines.
So 1 and 3 are parallel, 2 and 4 are parallel. So if I have to find intersections, I have to find intersection between 1 and 4 and 2 and 3. So I don't have 4 pairs of points, I have only 2 pairs. Now I just have 2 pairs, let me validate this. Let me take 1 and 4 and see what solution I get. Why is 8 minus x? Y is also 6 plus x. If I solve this, if I add these two, I get 2y equals 14 or y equals 7. I have y is 7. That means x, which is y minus 6 or 8 minus y, x should be 1. So 7 comma 1 works here. y is 7 when 8 minus 1. 7 is also 6 plus 1. But remember, this second equation is defined only when x is negative. So here x cannot be plus 1. So although even though this looks like these two have a solution, it doesn't work because the second equation is not valid when x is positive. So clearly this point of intersection is also phantom. This also does not exist. So I'm down to only one possibility solving for lines 2 and 3. Now again, I solve for this. I can add these two. I get 2y equals Again, I get 2y equals 7. I solve for this. I, if I add these two, I get 2y is minus 2. Sorry. I get 2 times y. x and minus x gets cancelled. 2y is minus 2 or y equals minus 1. I substitute y equals minus 1. I get x equals 7. So x is positive, y is negative. Here y is negative, x has to be positive. The conditions are satisfied. So both these equations are valid in the range that I get by solving for them. So when x is 7 and y is minus 1, this equation holds good and so does this one. So x equal to 7, y equal to minus 1 is a solution that satisfies both sets of equations at the modulus level as well. So very good question. We have to eliminate step by step and then drill down. So x is 7, y is minus 1 works for this. Just try to do the whole question with, with diagrams. So mod x plus y equals 6. That means if for this solution, if y is some value exist, then for the same question, x being plus or minus will work. Or put differently, if I say I substitute x y equal to 4, x is mod x is equal to 2, plus 2 and minus 2 will work. Or this equation is a set of lines symmetric about the y-axis. So this is mod x plus y equal to 6. This is also mod x plus y equal to 6. So this is the equation described, this is a set of two lines described by mod x plus y equal to 6. Same idea, x plus mod y equal to 8. If I substitute x equal to 4, mod y is 4, plus 4 and minus 4 will work. So when x is 4, y can be plus 4 or minus 4. This is an equation symmetric about the x-axis. So I have to find points of intersection between these two equations. This is the point of intersection here, this point which is nothing but 7 comma minus 1. So x equal to 7, y equal to minus 1 satisfies both equations. Obviously drawing this diagram is tricky. I'm not going to solve by drawing the diagram. But if I have a sense of the diagram, if I can sense that one is symmetric about the x-axis, the other is symmetric about the y-axis, then I get a feel for the question. Probably the algebraic method works well, but drawing this diagram helps us visualize the solution much better. So x equal to 7, y equal to minus 1 works and that is nothing but the point of intersection of these two systems of equations. Mod x plus y equal to 6 gives us two straight lines. x plus mod y equal to 8 gives us two straight lines defined in different regions and the point of intersection is 7 comma minus 1.